Alright. Next. Let's get back in the car. Oh, crap. Noise. This thing is strong. Let's see where else we can go. Okay. Alright, so there should be a supply chest here, um... Oh, what the hell is this? Inside. Okay, it's not that. Head inside the barn. Right there? Oh, right there, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so that was number 18. Then there's a nightmare mode manuscript, which I don't really care about right now, so I can't get it. Head down the main path, you'll see some bleachers and a thermos on the left one. Okay. Oh no. Oh no! Damn it! I did this again? Bro, relax yourself. Jeez, man. The brutes are crazy hard. Why are there fireworks? What the hell is this? I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Jeez. Let's see, so that's Coffee Thermos number 64, number 65. Okay. Damn. That was pretty cool. I'm so 
glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Bronson. Shut up and shoot! Oh no. Ow! We have to fight them off! I can set off four of the fireworks from here and help you out! Oh god! Oh god! No, no, no. There's an achievement not going lower than a certain amount of health. Oh god. Damn turn of the century wiring! Hang on out! I'll get the working again, I promise! What the hell? Oh no! Oh nope, gotta restart. Damn man. <sighs> So glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Bronson. Shut up and shoot! Ow! We have to fight them off! I can set off four of the fireworks from here and help you out! Then do it, bro! Hey, Al! Did you notice there's a lot of ammo and stuff around? This place is stopped! Al, hold on! I'll try to get the stage lights on! Oh god.
him. Oh, crap. A did it. Right Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Hell yeah, bro. All right, so that one is good. Sixty-five thermoses. All right. Child of the Elder God achievement unlocked too. Great. Next one is a manuscript. Uh, head to the right side of the stage. There's some circuits there with the manuscript attached. Okay. No, it sucks. I don't have the right. Hey, Wait, no. Al, this way to the farm. I mean, it kind of sucks. I don't have a lot of ammo. But... How many kills do I have with it right now? Twenty-three. Damn, I need fifty. This is gonna be a while. I'm like halfway there. All right, Mulligan questions Nightingale's Deputy orders. Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think riders were particularly useful people, and a huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiotic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't even clear what the man had done, except run from them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience with the Fed was running out. Okay, the next one is... Um, hmm... Alright, let's go forward. Oops, should we saw right See, here? bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cut oh my god is new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. Okay, so I think there's some manuscript over here somewhere. Nightingale finds the manuscript. As the deputies hauled Wake and Wheeler away, Agent Nightingale eagerly examined the stack of papers Wake had been carrying. It was incomplete, a collection of random pages, but there was enough. He saw his own name in there, among others. His hands shook with emotion. Finally, it was proof. He had been right all along. All right, next one's a TV show, and it is inside of the barn. Once you enter, okay. Now this is a flashlight right here. Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? <laughs> Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything, and if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. <laughs> it makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Hmm. It was pretty good. You want me to do my <laughs> imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. Yo. Ow. Wow! <laughs> you look at that thing, Al! They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Oh, damn, there's a boat. Look at all this stuff! They must have done okay for themselves, so how come I never. Uh huh? We all spend oh, a few of our night dreams spring. in a soft embrace, Man. somewhere What's between that memory? fantasy and Hey, oblivion. remember when I got you that gig? But your dreams first dreams real writing job, what got you started? Life. Was this one of or your episodes? In 
Night Springs. Tonight's episode, The Dream of Dreams. Eh, that's by someone else. As we join Mr. <laughs> Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, hmm. Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his highness over there is good and ready. Oh, wow. Who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything. All of this. But wait, no. I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Isn't... isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. Sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream. And the mm. girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. But I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming this. Well, maybe you're a really confused dream. What am I, a shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys. And they say that's the guy doing the dreaming. Right there. I don't know what that means. It means we keep him happy. No sudden falls. We make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public. No chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy, but his legs don't seem to get him anywhere. None of that. Because if he wakes up in a cold sweat... Oh... Uh... Yeah, precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Hey, something... something's happening here. Yeah? What's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God help us, it's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man, I got a wife and kids. Please don't wait. What the hell? That was weird. Alright, should be a thermos somewhere here. There we go. Um, there's a manuscript on the top second floor. Is that it? Yep. The Anderson Brothers in the 70s. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the head east ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Crazy. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Alright. Sign right here, the old Scots Vasgard. 1975 Ragnarok tour, be awed by Celestial Wrath and Fury. Seattle, okay, all those locations. Don't need to read all those. Um, then we got Another pyramid can. Can can pyramid. Um, so it's after we exit the barn, so let's do that. Damn. Oh, of course. Oh, God. Out of here, bro. Now we should have some more rifle ammo somewhere. Oh, speak of the devil.
Got you, bro. I only have four bullets left, so. Gotta make him count. 